Yeah, guys, what's up? It's your boy Sniper J. It's Saturday. We're going to some yard sales. We're going to see if we can uh, score some deals to resell. Hopefully, uh, make some money. And um, you'll be along for the ride. Beautiful day today. And got, it takes a little bit of, uh, requires a little bit of a jacket today, but for the most part, it's a beautiful day. Sunny. It's been like three, four days in a row without any rain, which is amazing. There's the, there's the stang. But yeah, so, you know, I didn't even check to see how many we have um, today, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we've got a good amount. Um, you know, it's a good day to be blessed. Good day to be blessed. Go out, do what you enjoy doing, you know? I enjoy doing yard sales and you can make money doing it. Yeah, I still I still work a full-time job. Um, have to still work a full-time job. But, you know, this is all new to me. And hopefully, you know, in time, I could do something where I'm doing it more full-time. Um, I'll be doing some house flipping and car flipping too. So those videos will be coming. Um, Soon enough, I'm waiting on my best friend from North Jersey uh, to be ready. But uh, yeah, so the, the, that will be make for some interesting content for sure. Um, I can't wait to do my first car flip, but that probably won't be for a few months. And then house flipping. Um, mama, mama snipers out. She's going yard sailing with me today. So, hey. Sniper mom. Sniper mom. What did I call you, mama? Sniper. What do you want to take? Well, we'll take your car. All right. With that, we're on our way out. Peace. All right, guys. This is, uh, this is my third one so far. So, I'm having a hard time with this app. This app is, uh, taking us all over the place and uh oh well, it was right it got us here it was much nicer yesterday yeah it's gonna it'll get nice it'll nice enough a little oh, they got household stuff here maybe i should get one of these here for bonnie Hello. so hi how are you okay how are you today fabulous thank you let me get this one for bonnie <laughs> What? So we don't have to do that rolling thing all the time. Jeez, look at all these DVD guys. Winning Styles Cookbook. Walking Day. Maybe I should get this for Bonnie. <laughs> what is it? It's a Wonderful Life. Isn't this the one she always yeah. looks for every year? Oh, yeah. Oh well, guys, it's, um, it's a lot of DVDs and stuff here. If you want a dollar for books, dollar for DVDs, picture frames. It's pretty cool. iPod docking station. I'm over there. Guys, there is lots of yard sales today. We've hit. They're just like one after the other. We can't even. We can't even go a block. But I mean, I've got some good stuff here. We'll see. Look at. Look at the scores here. Check this out. A new Mark Scratcher turntable. I got some tools for myself. Some Dewalt tools. Got this chair. This this here is. I got a Blu-ray player underneath. But check this out right here. I looked this up. And they're going for a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand, I guess depending on the condition. Obviously I'm gonna have to find out the condition of it and whatnot. I'm or if it's real, authentic, and all that good stuff, but so now we're on to uh Which this one, one over here. Go to that one first. There's one right here, and then there's one right here. So we're just checking it out. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, maybe this place has some some decent stuff in it here. We'll see. Yeah, you got a table. Sniper mom got a table. What is this, guys? Check this out. The Asbury Park Zombie Walk. The Asbury Park Zombie Walk. That's pretty cool. Zombie walk. Zombie walk. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Oh. There's another another printer. A Canon printer, though. I'm not interested in Canon. I like HP. I'd buy that for a couple bucks. Yeah, it's a, that's expensive for that, too. Yeah. $30 for it that is. crappy TV, guys. Oh, look at it. I should get these for my book, my gun. I what got. is it? Pellets, I think, for BBs? Yeah. I don't know. Like BBs? Looks $3, like it. $3 for all of these. It's pretty cool. This is cool. Jaeger Life Street. I should put this in the man cave. What does it say? Jaeger Life. It's alcohol. Yeah, I figured that. What is this? Must be something for craft. Like you probably. Yeah, it's crafting. Yeah, crafting supplies. Those things sell for about eighteen dollars. What are they? Now, well, yeah, what are they? They stamp. They get punches. Oh. Yeah, they punch. What they punch like? Design. You stick the paper in, mm -hmm. and then you press it down. Oh, okay. Cool. This one does too. It does it in the Like a punch, you put the paper in, so it's got to be close to the edge. Check these out, guys. It's a cool helmet here, but check this out. Holy gas tank. It's asking uh, forty bucks for it, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna pass on that. Look at all this cool riding gear here. Check this out. Nice. I don't see any actual Harley Davidson though. And as you know, Harley Davidson sells. And this don't have any Harley Davidson stuff. Cool. Oh, how are you? Good, dude. Hey, you know, yard sailing. <laughs> so it's the best day for it, man. It's been a while. Yeah, this weather has been brutal. Yeah, it's been. What is this, guys? Does anybody know what this thing is here? Leave a comment below if you can tell me what this thing is, because I have no idea what this thing does. Ride your bike inside? Oh, ride your bike inside. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to figure out what it was. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to put on it. Yeah. It's, you replace your rear axle with this thing, and, just, and then you can just pop it on, ride. That's cool. Right. The <laughs> lunch is here. If I was good at crafts, I'd be a but I'm not bad for next time. Window sashes. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. Yeah, it's not bad though. Alright, so now we're gonna go across the street. Let's go across the street and see what they got. Oh, that's one right there too. But that one's that that one's small. Yeah, it's alright. Let's go this one over here guys. Let's check this out. Is that a dude or what? Is that a dude or a woman or what? <laughs> yeah, he's talking to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hi, how are you? This is, yeah, no. I don't know if it's in like the games and stuff. Yeah, right, guys, we got another. We're at another one right down the road. I'm punching holes all day and I probably won't have enough strength in my hands to do it. Mama sniper. She ain't sniping anything out today. 
Mama snipe is not snapping, sniping anything out today. Natural pest disease control. Skimmer plug. Carol Higgins. Extra durability. Hi, how are you? Good. Oh, check this out. Christmas train. Christmas train. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. We used to have something like that. We just that. threw that out. We just mm -hmm. got rid of it. That wasn't as big as that, though. No. Mm -hmm. Here, some, some gloves over here, guys. Good morning. How are you? This is pretty cool. $30. Look right there. Harvey. He sell really well. But, yeah, seasonal thing. Giants. The loft. This is pretty cool. Check that out, guys. It's like barely dead. Check out some of these. Is there anything specific you're looking for? No. Make them go as fast as You got a million bucks in there? No, that I don't know. I've got a lot of stuff in there. That you sleep together. Oh, my God. I usually sell it. That's my favorite thing. I'm going to you need to go inside a minute? Cool. Are you okay? Yeah. Visual maker. Where's this thing here? What is this? Hey, you have any idea? It says Kodak on it. <laughs> Might be some sort of a camera. That's what I'm thinking. Some kind of vintage cam. Yeah, get out of here. It's an ectographic <laughs> visual maker. Is it open? Yeah. Like a, oh, there we go. Oh, I have no idea what that is. A photo mat with three magic cubes, some super cubes that have not been opened. That's pretty cool. Neat. Yeah. No need for it. No. <laughs> Neither do we apparently. And apparently not. <laughs> That's an empty case, I guess. Oh, albums. Albums What's and up, guys? guitars. What kind of guitars? Oh, it's a Fender. How much are you asking for the Fender? A hundred with the gig bag. Hmm. Can I see it? Sure. I almost bought a an acoustic <laughs> Fender Stratocaster acoustic, but I'm trying to behave myself and I'm trying to behave myself and and not buy things for myself. Mm, buy things I can resell, but. The guitar definitely intrigued me for only 120 for a Fender Strat. With the hard case. A real well, uh, well, with the hard case, I could have got it cheaper with just the guitar, mm -hmm. which I I don't need the, the case anyway. I hang it on my wall, but whatever. We'll uh, pass on that for now. Even though. Even 50 bucks if you took it for 50. He wouldn't give it to me for no? 50. No. Uh, maybe without the case. No, I better not. Yeah, without the case. I'm it's sorry. a Fender Strat. I mean. I don't know what that means. He's They're worth a lot more than that. See that water heater? He says he bought, and he was telling the guy he bought a new washer and dryer, and, it, and the water heater was too big. Can I make a right here? I didn't know you could get a water heater that's not. I thought any water heater. No, there's sizes. Really? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. I thought any water heater you could just use it. All right, guys, I think we're going to get lunch, so. Uh, if we seem to pa pass any more on the way, I'll fill you in. But right now, you gotta get home soon anyway. Daddy's hungry. All right, talk to you later. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Sniper J. Welcome to the Storage Snipers channel here on YouTube. Check it out. I figured I'd up update all you guys on what we got going on for this past weekend from Thursday to Saturday. I did some estate sailing, some yard sailing on Saturday. So I figured I'd show you what, um, what I got. And you know what? If I have anything, if you guys could comment below and let me know, that would be great because I'm new to all this game. This stuff reselling and whatnot and I don't know I'm learning, but I don't know a lot of stuff, you know as far as What stuff is worth and you know how much? I, you know sometimes I think I got a gold mine and it turns out to be a pile of crap, but 
So if you could help me out with that, that would be great. So without further ado, let me show you some of the stuff I got. All right, so we got, I think I might have showed you this already, but I got this uh, brand new in the package for two, three dollars. This uh, Logitech webcam, it's a C250. So I know I'll, I'll get some money for that. Okay. I got this, uh, not that, a friend of mine gave me that. I got this cool coin here, you know, um, and this coin was like 50 cents, and it says uh, 1789, the Department of the Treasury, and on this side it says the United States Bullion Dis Depository, and uh, Fort Knox, Kentucky. So, you know, if you guys, if anybody knows anything about this coin, and it's worth anything, hit me up comment below I read all the comments and I will definitely appreciate that then check this out I got this vintage obviously it's vintage because who the hell uses answer machines anymore but a phone made 3700 telephone answer machine I paid a dollar for this it's brand new in the package never opened I'm hoping to get 20 to 30 dollars for that and I paid a dollar um, I, I got this uh, I think I showed you this already, but if I didn't, I'm showing you again. I got this uh, 60 cents, uh, 1989 I believe it was, um, April 29th, 1989, ROM Space Night Marvel. I got this Raggedy Ann book. Now the Raggedy Ann book, guys, um, it's pretty cool. It says, to our beloved Mui, I think it says Mui, I don't know. <laughs> Who also loves a very special doll. Happy birthday, Mommy and Daddy. And this is July 22nd, 1971. Okay, I got this book for 50 cents. And a state, at an estate sale. Now the thing with this is, here guys. You know, it says copyright 1918. Copyright renewed 1946. Copyright 1947. And then right here it says 1961. Don't mind my hands. I was just working on my car. 1961. So I'm guessing it's obviously not a first issue. If it was, it's uh, actually worth pretty good money, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've seen this. I think I forget now, but when I was in the place, I looked it up and it looked pretty good. Then I got this. Uh, you know, I always was told first edition Dr. Seuss books actually, you know, could be very profitable. So I figured I'd try it. This was also 50 cents in the same place. It's in fairly decent condition. But, you know, I don't, I don't think it says here. Um, let's see. Copyright 1962. So I don't see any other dates on this book. So I'm not sure. If, if any of you book people out there know anything, if this has any value to it, hit me up. Let me know, please. Then I got the Bambi. This, I believe to be, I think it's a first edition Bambi. It's the uh, 942, um, the original animated classic. Um, I looked this up. I think it's I think it's the first edition, but unfortunately, it's just, I don't think it's worth anything. Booyah! This Fox and the Hound ain't worth garbage. I took a flyer on it. Thought maybe it might be, so I just said, what the hell? You know, it was all, I think, a dollar each. I think I paid for it. Maybe I got it for a dollar for both. I don't remember. Then, this is really cool here, guys. Let me move this out of the way. Let me put this back over here. And while I knock it down the whole house. Uh, while I'm at it, you know. Who needs the house, right? So, this is, is what I would really appreciate if somebody can let me know anything about. This uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire... This, I believe, is a first edition. Not that it means anything or that it's worth anything. But this is, let's see, copyright 2000. July, first American edition, July 2000. So, if anybody knows anything about Harry Potter books, I mean, I, I heard really most Harry Potter isn't worth anything other than the very first one, first edition, but, you know, I could be wrong. Hit me up. Let me know. So that's that. Um, I got a couple. Let's see. 
a couple Penn State shirts here. A couple Penn State sweatshirts. I got three of them for, I think three for $10. So not a great deal on that. Hopefully I can get 10 each for them, but we'll, probably won't. I'll probably, I had three and I threw the other one out because it was all stained. So now I'll probably only get my money back on that. I got this Transformers 5 movie. Oh, this, this was in a storage unit. Scratch that, people. That's cheating. Okay, I did get this, uh, uh, the Sony, uh, Blu-ray player. It's the, um, BDP S360. I tried it. It works. Comes with the remote and everything. I paid, I think, three dollars. I think I paid three dollars for this. Is it three or five? So I think I'll get my money back on that and make a couple bucks on that. Uh, don't mind mess down there. And then this cool. Check this out. I just took pictures of it, so I just threw it down. But this is the uh, new mark. This works. Comes on. It functions. Does everything it's supposed to do. It's just needs a needle maybe even a new arm i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure it's just the needle it needs and um i got that for ten dollars dj equipment generally i have good luck with and i sold it pretty good except for you know some uh, annoying douche that uh some annoying douchebag that returned my mixer to me even though I spent $300 on it personally when I was DJing and I, you know I did break I broke one of the sliders the main slider and um, you know one of the sliders was broke you know I'll give you that still brand new though I've only I only used it for like three weeks something to that effect so I know there's nothing wrong with it and some douchebag right out of the gate knew it was going to be trouble on eBay. And he started saying, hey, make sure you package it this way, this way. I was like, dude, I'll package it awesome, you know. And I did. I bubble wrapped it tight, you know, and everything. And, and then he requested a refund on it. And I, I just have a feeling I'm not going to get my, my mixer board back. But that's the chance we take with uh, eBay. So well, we'll see what happens with that. But for the most part, I've had, with DJ equipment, I've had uh, good experiences. So this new Mark um, turntable, I think, is going to be the asses kicked. So let me uh, flip you back around. I'll show you the last thing that I got that maybe you guys can help me out with. Because I don't know donkey crap about artwork. But I took a flyer on this piece of art for $2.00. And what I did was I took the eBay app, I turned it from barcode to picture mode, I took a picture of it, and this picture, or things very similar to this picture, came up for a couple hundred dollars, all the way up to $1,100. I said, how much you want for this? They said $2. I said, I'll take it. So I've, I've been doing some research on it, and it, it appears that, man, this is very close. Sorry about that, guys. It appears that there is, that this artist is an artist, you know, who, who um, demands good good money. So, it's a real oil painting. It's not a reprint. Um, it's it's signed. Anyway, let me show you. All right, guys. So there he is. There he is. And this is oh uh, geez, let me see if I remember. This is by an artist, uh, Pel Pel Pelbum Pelham. <laughs> I forget now, but there's a signature. If anybody knows anything about this guy or this painting, um, this is a very large painting. It's probably, I want to say 20, I don't know, 20 by 16, maybe. I mean, it's a, it's a nice picture. Like I said, this is, this is real oil painting. This is not a reprint. There is a little puncture here, unfortunately. And this frame is actually beautiful too. This is probably the original frame, but this has some some damage to it too. But this can be easily fixed. And this is the back of the uh, the canvas here. 
So here's the tear, a little puncture. Other than that, it's in it's a very nice piece, very good condition. So if anybody knows anything about this painting or this artist, if you could comment below and let me know, much appreciated. And with that, guys, I do believe I showed you everything that there is that I got over the weekend at these um, sales. What did I get yesterday? Yesterday I went and I, oh, yesterday I picked up the Harry Potter book at an estate sale. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it.